So this mark has been verified. Um, it looks like I'm going to be giving um, an antibiotic today to Mrs. Lotta Fallings, date of birth 10 5XX, and I note here she has an allergy to tegament and codeine. Um, there is no other medications due at this time. She has a new or she has an order for Zepazolin, one gram IV piggyback times one now for infection. So that is what I'm going to be giving her. First, I'm going to start by coming here to the Pixis and doing my first check. So this is for patient Lotta Fallings, date of birth 10 5XX. Um, I, her order here reads Cephazolin, one gram IV piggyback times one now for infection. Here I have her um, Cephazolin, one gram IV piggyback, so the correct route, times one now, the correct time for infection. Okay, and this is not expired. Not expired. Okay. Next, I'm going to come here to the nurse's station where I will be doing my second check. So this is for patient Lotta Fallings, um, date of birth 10.5XX, okay, um, and here I have Zephazolin, Zephazolin, 1 gram, 1 gram, IV piggyback, so it's the correct route, times 1, okay, so it is due now, correct time, for infection, okay, and it is not expired, 2052, so this is all correct, okay. Okay, so here I would note that I do see she has normal saline running, and this is and I have checked, and this is compatible with her cephazolin. Next, I'm going to show here my math, which is 50, 50 GTTs per minute by gravity. So it is about 12.5 GTTs per 15 seconds. So about 13 drops per 15 seconds. Okay. Next, I'm going to come here, and I'm going to show that I would be using the correct tubing, which is my secondary AV tubing set of 15 drops per ml. This is the correct tubing that I'm using. And then I'm going to place this aside here and I'm going to wash my hands, place gloves, and I am going to spike my So before I get started, I'm going to make sure that my clamp is closed. So it is closed. Next, I'm going to remove this here. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to place that down here. And I am going to label my tubing. So at this time, I would remove my gloves, remove my gloves, wash my hands, and I'm going to label my tubing. So it is for 19, 20, 20, 20. Okay, so I wrote the date, time, my date, the date, time, and my initials. I'm going to label that on my tubing. Grab my alcohol wipes and grab my antibiotics. Now I'm going to my patient's room. Okay, knock knock. Good morning, Miss Lotta Fallings. I'm Anna, the student nurse who's going to be taking care of you today. How are you? Good. Good. Okay. So I have an order here to hang some antibiotics for you. But before I get started, can I um, verify your? I'm going to place this down here for a second. Can I verify your full name and date of birth? A lot of Fallings. 10, 5, XX. 10, 5, XX. Okay, and I see here your MRN number. Okay, and I see here you have an allergy to tegament and coating. Um, what happens when you have a tegament or coating? Itchiness. Itchiness, okay. Well, um, I do not have that for you today. Um, let me place this here for a second. I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to place gloves. Okay, and okay, and I'm going to assess your IV site. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay, so I would assess her IV site here for any redness, swelling, infiltration, signs of infection, and it looks okay. Doesn't show any of that. Miss Fallings, do you have any um, pain at your IV site? No. No, okay. So what I have for you today is um, 
cefazolin, which is an antibiotic used to treat infection. Um, some of the side effects of that is a GI upset. It can cause um, upset stomach, diarrhea, and it can also cause an allergic reaction, reaction such as hives or um, rashes. Um, but if any of that happens, you can call me and let me know. Are you okay with taking this antibiotic today, the cefazolin for the infection? The yes. Ones? Yes, okay. So I am going to go, I am going to do a third check on the medication. Is that okay with you if I step aside? Yes. Okay. So at this time, I would remove my old gloves and put on, wash my hands, and then put place new gloves. So I have clean gloves. Okay. And here, she, I'm going to check. She does have the correct fluids running at the correct rate, and it is open and running. So normal saline, not expired. Okay. Next, I'm going to come here and do my third check. I verify my patient, date of birth, so I missed a lot of fallings, 10.5XX, okay. I've noted her allergies, and I have her here, her cefazolin, cefazolin, one gram, one gram, IV piggyback, correct route, dose, okay. And then times one now, so it is the right time, okay, for infection, and it is not expired. So cefazolin, one gram, okay, so everything is correct. I have the correct medication, dose, time, route, and it is not expired. Next, I'm gonna come here. Um, I'm gonna check to make sure her normal feeding is open and running, which it is. Okay. Next, I would come here. I am going to clean her port closest to her IV site for 30 seconds. that for 30 seconds I will attach my secondary tubing to the port closest to her IV site my secondary tubing is not compatible so I cannot do that but I'm just going to verbalize that that's where I would attach it keeping that sterile then I would open up my clamp and I would back prime. And I would back prime till, till my chamber was about, this chamber was about half full. And then I would clamp, I would clamp and close my cefazolin once this was about half full. And I would also clamp her normal saline. So that's clamped. Okay, I'm going to put this here because it doesn't attach. Okay. Then I'm going to hang this here above her primary infusion. So I'm going to hang it above it. And I'm going to calculate her drip rate. The drip rate. And the drip rate is, again, 12.5, about 13 drops for 15 seconds. So that is what I'm doing.
Okay, so that is about 13 drops per 15 seconds. come here, remove my gloves, and wash my hands. Okay. Miss Lotta Fons, is there anything else I can get for you? No. Okay. And this still looks like it's running okay? Okay. So I will be back in about 30 minutes to check on your cephalazolin and see if that's done and then start your normal saline infusion back again, okay? Okay. If you need anything until then, here's your call light and just give me a call, okay? Okay. Okay. Wash my hands and I'm going to come over here to chart. So I've charted the time, my initials, and the site. And I've crossed it off because I'm giving that to her now. I'm going to student nurse and my initials. Okay, and I've written my whole name, credentials, and my initials. And then I am done.